Hello. Today we are going to talk about sensations and I was just trying to work on my vision. Let's talk how our sensations work in our body and it's just those five basic senses or there is much more to it. Sensations drive our actions. Ow! See, I got hurt and I decided that I had to massage the area. Everything that we do any movement that we perform is based on what we sense from our environment. But is it just based on our five senses of vision, hearing, smell, taste and touching objects? Isn't there more to it? What if we feel that we are moving in the environment or that our joints are in a certain position or the fact that I'm hungry or thirsty? Those are also sensations. So let's get into different layers of sensations today. Let's start with our superficial sensations. Something suddenly touching my hand. It's exerting some pressure. Let me try to increase the pressure. Ow, it hurts. And it feels cold, like it was dipped in cold water. I just talked about all my superficial sensations. Let's get to the next layer, the deep layer. Okay, my eyes are closed. My hand seems to be in the front. I just rotated my arm backwards and then brought it back in front. Is there an earthquake? Why is everything shaking? If I feel these kind of vibrations, that also happens to be a deep sensation. Okay, we are through with superficial, deep, combined. I talked about touch all right, but it's touching on the back of my hand, the back of my palm actually. Ah, I localized my touch. It is on one point really. Now it's moving. It touched me twice. It touched me on both arms. It feels light. This feels soft. It's slightly hard. I'm sure I have something in my hand. It is round, small. It's a small ball essentially. Yes, it is. So in spite of not using our vision, we can still figure out what is the shape and size of an object, even the weight of an object, and we can identify what the object is. If, of course, we are aware of it. I used to love the game that kids used to play or we as kids used to play, where one person was blindfolded and you try to write something on their arm like an alphabet, a shape, or a number. Okay, it's one, a triangle, the alphabet A. It's called the game of graphesthesia. So when I, why am I discussing these sensations all of a sudden? Because if because of any possible reason, somebody had a stroke, a spinal cord injury, or general numbness that they feel because of nerve injuries or nerve compressions, or even for diabetes, if sensations are somehow affected, you don't exactly feel numb, but you feel that there is something not normal about how we used to feel the sensations like the slipper suddenly come out of the foot. Or we do not even really understand whether we are wearing a soft cloth or a hard one or a rough texture. That is where sensations play a role. It will make us drop objects frequently. We won't be able to handle objects that easily. We won't know how much pressure to apply while holding them. So sensations hold a very important role in how we perform our motor actions and that's why it is really important in neuro rehabilitation. So don't just check for touch whether you have it or not. Work, try to work on all these sensations in your neuro rehabilitation. Let me know if you found this video informative, please like it. And there is more content like this on his channel. To learn it, please subscribe and we will meet again soon.